up ladies and gents this is Idaho dub with another battlefield 3 gameplay still playing team deathmatch this map is called sign crossing or CN crossing I don't I don't know how you pronounce it I don't, I'm not good with words I'm not good with words you should know this by now we're playing a little team deathmatch and I tried to record some gameplay from rush or CQ but the games take forever and I didn't want to have to edit like a 30 minute game like literally they take a long time but they are really fun games but this video I kinda of just wanna it's gonna be my last video actually talking about the game Battlefield I know a lot of you have probably already checked out other videos and listened to reviews from other commentators so you've probably already made up your mind if you're gonna get the game if you haven't got it yet so I guess I'll first start off by saying yes, get the game. The game's fantastic. I love everything but one thing about this game. And the one thing that I don't like about the game is the spawning. Now it's, it's not an issue most of the time, but I'm running into it, at least in Team Deathmatch, that I'll spawn in front of the other team. And it happens like back to back to back, like all the time, like all throughout the game. I'll just spawn. and. I understand that it's random spawn points, I get that, but I don't, I just don't really understand why they have, oh look at that, that was a rookie move, look at that, I thought I had an RPG there, I was going to blast it out and said I had a med kit, that was a new, that was a new move there, but the spawning, I just don't get the random spawn spots, and it just, it's very frustrating, it, it, that's like the one thing that I don't like about the game, I get really upset when I spawn in front of somebody and I die, and then it happens again after that and again, look, spawn killing is a part of a lot of shooter games, but I don't know, it just seems like it can be avoided, and it doesn't seem like Battlefield 3 does a great job of avoiding it at times, but that's really the only complaint that I have about the game, other than that, I think you should buy it, ooh, the light in the tunnel, oh, that was an enemy? That was an enemy? I guess that's a, another minor issue I have. I can't ever tell if it's an enemy or not when I when I see their flashlights or the, the red light from the laser. But hey, I guess that's what makes this game realistic. So that's not really a major issue. The, the only real issue I have right there, you saw that flashing light. The only real issue I have is the spawning. But other than that, it's a great game. If you're going to buy a game, you should totally get this. I haven't played Modern Warfare 3 yet, obviously. And I won't get to play it until about a week and a half after it comes out, which sucks. I'll be out of town for work. So if you're gonna if you're on the fence, I guess, about buying this game and you have you have the money to buy it, I would definitely give it a shot. I'm really enjoying it. And this is the very first battlefield I've ever played, but the multiplayer is great. The campaign's pretty fun as well. I I want to address something. Somebody commented on my last video just recently before I posted, before I started to record this video, and they said, uh, you know, don't, don't use the RPG in this game, you noob. That's a, that's a Call of Duty thing. Stay out of here with that stuff. Go back and play Call of Duty. It's funny to me. I, I've noticed this in other videos that I've seen and read in the comments that. People, if you use like an RPG or I, but I actually think there's a noob tube in this game. I don't know. I haven't got that far in the game. Like my weapons aren't that advanced. So I can't put up a, lo a lot of attachments on, but I'm sure there is a noob tube. But it seems so funny to me that like if you use any, you know, tactics that people say you're a noob, like when people call you noobs in Call of Duty, any of those tactics in Battlefield, it's like automatically associated. Get down, boy get down it's automatically associated with call of duty it's like if you do anything that is not kosher in battlefield they're like that's a call of duty move man get out of here go go play call of duty you fanboy and i love it i think it's hilarious because it, it's just funny to me like when you're in call of duty you're a noob if you use that stuff and when you come to battlefield you're a call of duty fanboy so i just thought it was hilarious because i used the rpg in the intro of my video last time and somebody's like i don't know you're the Biggest noob ever. Get out of here, man. I don't really care, though. Keep on talking. I, I always say this, and I've said it in videos before. Now, I do get frustrated when people noob to me, but hey, it's part of the game. And just play, just do whatever you're comfortable with. You know, if you're playing Battlefield and you're comfortable with the RPG, then by all means, rock that RPG, baby. Rock that all day. Blast people. Do whatever is going to make you a better player. Who cares if it pisses other people off? You're playing this game because you enjoy it. Do what's going to help you enjoy the game, even though it's probably going to make a lot of people mad. 
when I get noob tubed, I get mad, and I'll probably yell at you if we're playing together, but hey, you know what? It's part of the game. Do whatever is going to make the game more enjoyable for you. And last but not least about this game, not an issue that I'm having. It's not an issue with the game. It's an issue with you guys, the people playing this game. And I know it's not you guys, because if we were in a sub sesh together, I know you guys talk. I've had some sub, sesh, sub, blah, 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 some sub sessions with you guys, and you guys are very good at communicating. But this, this game, more than probably any other shooter I, I've ever played, is a team game. And if your team is not communicating, you're probably going to get rickrolled. And I, I haven't really had any luck speaking with people in the games. Like, I don't know. I know everybody's Xbox comes with a headset, so I know that you are... You are able and you're capable, unless you're a mute, but you're capable to, you know, of speaking with me when you're playing the game. And for some reason, I haven't had a lot of luck with teammates who want to communicate so we can knock people down and get some W's. I've got a lot of losses in this game so far. But really, that's, that's not a game fault. That's just a, you know, that's a people problem. A people problem. And that's it. So overall, buy the game if you got the cash. If not, definitely try to borrow it from a friend or play it with a friend or rent it or go to the GameStop and pull a gun out and stick them up and steal it. Do whatever you got to do, <laughs> but you should definitely don't do that. If, if you do that, do not tell them that I told you to do that. And by them, I mean the police. But definitely a fun game. I'm really enjoying it. It just really sucks that all these great games come out at the same time every year, but hey. That's what happens. That's that's how it is. Such is life. And look at this. I'm on a little camp spree over here. Ah. How many people did they have in that building? They had like a, like their whole team was up in that building. Oh my gosh, you squatters, get out of that building. But yeah, I I think the game's great and that's about to do it for me. I do want to touch on something. I know a lot of you came to this channel cuz my NCAA and you're probably not even watching this video. I will continue with my NCAA series. I'm going to continue with Battlefield for a while, and maybe even after Modern Warfare 3 comes out. But I will be out of town for work starting next Monday for two weeks. I'm going to take some gameplay with me and try to do some commentaries while I'm there. Maybe stock up on a few comms before I leave. But I will try to keep putting videos up while I'm gone, but it's probably going to be quite a few less videos than I'm used to. Look at that. We lost. But I just want to give you the heads up there. But there it is. We did lose, which sucks. But your boy went 15 and 11. Not bad, not bad. I'm still getting used to the game. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Drop to the floor. Drop to the floor.